I. So I ordered these linear scales as well as a DRO display separately from China. But after installing them I discovered this issue that the numbers are just jumping back and forth here. This is no good. Since all three linear scales behave the same, I was pretty sure that they weren't faulty. Thankfully, the manual to the DRO display had the expected pinout information written down. And according to it, the display expects differential signals, which seems like an obvious cause for problems, as my cheap linear scales probably don't have such signals. So let's look at this without the differential signals first. When the linear scale is moved, it will give off pulses. But these pulses will not tell us which way the scale is moving. But if we add one more pulse, let's call it pulse B, and then offset it a bit. Now we could create a rule that states that if pulse A comes before pulse B, then we're moving to the right, and vice versa. For the signal to be registered as a pulse, the voltage needs to be roughly over half of the peak level. This works just fine until we get some electromagnetic noise. The top of the pulse could drop below the halfway point and the pulse will no longer be registered. So what if we took the signals A and B and split them in half? This way we get two more wires with opposing pulses. So now the differential between the two wires is between 0 and 5 volts. Twisting these pairs of wires together will make the electromagnetic noise affect each wire pretty much equally. Our pulses are now independent of the ground plane. Okay, this is one of the three linear scales that I have and the connector. So let's take a look inside and see how many wires we'll find. Just as expected, not too many wires at all. I'm curious to see if the existing wires are compatible with the pinouts as illustrated in the manual. Like uh, zero being the black wire at the expected position. Five volts should be a red one at pin number seven and so on. This looks promising. All the signals seem to be in the right places. We're just lacking the opposing differential signals. Let's get some wires so that we can do a few measurements. Let's connect A plus and B plus to the oscilloscope and uh, 0 volts and 5 volts to the power supply. The shielding is of course irrelevant and I believe that the R plus is maybe for counting revolutions or the end stops, which is not of interest to us. 
if we have wired everything correctly, we should be able to see the A plus and B plus positive pulses uh, when we move the linear scale. And yes, that's exactly what we can see here. If we move it downwards, then we see that the yellow pulse comes first. And likewise, if we move it upwards, we should be able to see the blue one come first, which is exactly what we're seeing here. Nice. It is reasonable to conclude that our problem is that we are in fact missing the differential signal. I did a bit of googling and I found this chip, which basically does exactly what we want to do. Turn a single pulse into a differential pulse. Or actually it has two inputs, so we can fix both the A and B signal with the same chip. Let's disconnect some wires and solder a quick prototype. We'll use one of these as our circuit board. Using the datasheet we can find out which pins to connect which wires on. So there we have it. If this works, we'll probably need to create a nicer circuit board and uh, design a bigger casing for the connector so that the uh, IC will fit inside. Let's connect it to the oscilloscope and power once more and see if we'll be getting a differential signal. Uh, my oscilloscope only has two channels, so we need to measure each differential signal uh, separately. And there we have it, a differential signal. Let's just verify that this second pulse works as well. Yes it does, nice. Before building the proper solution and uh, designing a casing for it, let's of course try it first. You have got to be kidding me. I noticed that the chip got pretty hot when it was connected to the display, indicating that something seems to be wrong with the display itself. So let's do some measurements and see what is going on. We are getting 5 volts on pin 1 and 2, even though pin 1 should be an input. A minus. This is definitely not correct. There must be some electrical fault inside the, the display. And we get it on all three ports as well. This is, this is not good at all. So I guess we have no choice but to open it up and try to fix it. There sure wasn't much in here. Do you see what I see? 
there's only five leads for each port. So if we take five volts and ground away from it, we have only three wires left. And that's not enough for a differential of signals. So it looks to me that the implementation in the display is exactly the same as with the linear scales. In other words, they were simply lying in the manual. You liar! So let's just map out which pin goes where and uh, try it out. It turns out that the correct order is 5 volts, ground, A+, plus, B+, plus, and then R+, plus, but I don't think that's uh, relevant for us. And there it is, it works. I'll correct the manual just because. So let's fix an untouched linear scale now that we know how it should look like and see just how easy it is. And yeah, now that we've gone through everything around uh, differential signals and incompatibilities, I hope you will be able to fix your issue no matter what it is. We cut off the shielding because it's already grounded and we desolder the green wire and resolder it in its uh, correct position. And there you have it. That's all you need to do. Okay, thank you, bye.